Returning to the observatory for what he hopes is the final time, the man feels anticipation and dread in equal measure. Soon, he knows he will have what he needs. Oh, cool. Look into securing the primary coolant flow. With some luck, you may be able to light the area before these things even show up. That'd be nice. Well. Thanks for tuning in for the second part of our interview with Serena Valdivia and award-winning photographer Alice Wake. Now, Alice, we were talking about your husband, Alan Wake. Uh, is that a sore subject for you? Well, a little bit. Of course it is. The way I see it, we had our good times and our bad times, and on the whole, we had a lot of good times. He really made me happy. I don't mind being reminded of him. So you're, uh, That's pretty good. you're over him? <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be that entirely. I still think about him every day, literally. I still find myself hoping for... Well, sometimes I think I see him just standing somewhere, watching me. I think most people who lose someone they love experience things like that. But on the whole, I'm doing all right. Two years is a long time to adjust, and I'm not really the type to wallow in the negative. Well, I know there are a lot of stories about Alan. He seemed to have something of a wild streak. Um, that's not really what our show is about, though. Look, mm -hmm. all that stuff really gets blown out of proportion. He had his problems, but it's really frustrating for me because people like to talk. They love to tell these crazy stories, and they never really knew him at all. Well, the character he created, Alex Casey, is a household name. The book still continues to sell. There's been talk of a TV series, a movie, a video game. It must be nice to know that his work is still being appreciated by so many readers. Yes, of course, but I don't really deal with the business side. I leave that to Alan's agent. Uh, that would be Barry Wheeler. Actually, I just interviewed him. Uh, he's currently in the music business. Mm -hmm. And he's also Alan's best friend. Uh, do you two keep in touch? Or? We talk regularly. Like I said, he handles the business side. I think we should talk about her film. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. I'm Eddie Rodman, talking to Alice Wake and Serena Valdivia. And we'll be right back. Right. Okay. Well, anyway. Um. Good evening. And welcome to Ellen Wake. American Nightmare. I believe this is going to be the last one. This is a pretty, actually, a short game. I think I sort of remember this. But, um. Yeah. Come on, guys. Bust open the door for me. Oh. You know, you're not supposed to climb those. Hey, big boy. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, there's one more. And one behind me. Oh, I missed. Ow, ow. Yeah. Come on. I can take you. <laughs> so far, so good. That is still not the right noise for that gate. That was the noise of a, like, you know, a regular wooden door opening. The gate. Very good. I believe we're ready to look into the sky. Do I 
right there, doctor. I'll be right there, Doc. I need to take care of these, um, issues. Oof. Nice throw. 10 out of 10. Oh, hello, boy. How you doing? Ha. Ha. Gotcha. All right, just two more shots on this guy. And we're good. All right. Oh, there. There we are. What? No. D don't destroy it before I can get to a checkpoint. You jerk. Oh. Oh. Oh, baseball bat. Slugger. Man, this bush is getting in the way. And... Oh yeah, these guys. You know what? I, I think I'll finally... I'll kill one. And see how far this one can split. Oh, they only split split twice? Okay. I see how it is. Ow! Gotcha! There we go. Flare. Open the door, please. Come on in. Thank you. TV. Nice camera. This is what you look like. Does that bother you? I bet it does. I'm not just wearing your face, you know. It goes a lot deeper than that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of you and me. All the best parts. All the best parts of waking up is Folgers in your cup. At first, <laughs> I was just an idea. But they kept telling all those stories about you. You already had that rep. And then you disappeared mysteriously. And then, the stories about... Bad, crazy Alan Wake came true. And here I am. Mm. That's the best part, isn't it? When that happens, you can always count on Cauldron Lake. <sighs> I'm just as real as you are. And I'm the improved version. No fears, mm. no doubt. No weaknesses, no self-deception here. I don't let anything drag me down. I know you like I know myself. I know it bothers you that I'm like this. That I use your name, crawl my way into your life. But I only do it because... I'm better at being you than you ever were. Besides the killing of people, you need to show some self-restraint. 
I would agree with you, except for the killing of the people. Then you, you need to show some self-restraint on that. What's this? Cow! You need to protect the telescope, but we can't complete the signal. Where do you come from? Who knew you had some uh, excellent music? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Come on, green eye. Oh, that grenader actually helped me with all those people. Ah, oh, there you are. Gotcha! Woo. Eat flare! Oh, hello! I met. Eat another flare! Gotcha! I, I sure hope this song isn't, um, uh, copyrighted, because this is an excellent song. Uh, oh, nice. Good job. Yeah. I'll send the lift down to you. I remember our previous encounters very clearly now. But technically, if this really is a loop in time, we've never met before. I don't know why our awareness persists, but it's bloody fascinating. Hmm. Of course, it, it, if they uh, are uh, defying the laws of physics, wouldn't that be amazing, not rude? But oh well. Doctor? You know, I know physicists who would give 15 years of their lives for a chance to experience something like this. I'd imagine that being stalked by horrible axe murderers would curb their enthusiasm a little. Yeah. Clearly you've never met hardcore physicists. I'm glad you're in such good spirits, but... The signal! Yes, it's completed! Finally. If all goes well, this should be the last time we go through the loop. You know, I just realized that I don't have any memory of what happens after you leave. What does that mean? I don't think it means anything. If everything goes well, you just keep going. I don't show up here like this again. No more bad guys. Things go back to normal. Let's hope you're right. I'd love the opportunity to look into this in more detail. Looks really? like you've accepted the situation. I'm a pragmatist. If this is a delusion, at least my first psychotic episode is anything but boring. Really, Mr. Wake, at the end of the day, I'm a scientist. I love mysteries. I love not knowing. Whatever else this might be, it's absolutely fascinating. I wonder how far this reaches. Is everybody in the world experiencing this? Who knows? I think reality is probably pretty fragile right now. Doctor, well, I can see you're very considering enthusiastic. Considering that this, the radio stations are acting as normal? Are you suggesting that we should suppress this? No. You can do what you like. But I want you to leave me out of it. But surely, with the things you know, the things you've experienced, you can replicate any of these results. We could... Let me be blunt. If you drag me into this, <laughs> I'll deny everything. I'll lie like my life depended on it. And writers are damn good liars. Word of advice. This is things man was not meant to know territory. You get into this, chances are you'll open up a door into a world of hurt. Believe me, I know. I see. Mm. No witnesses. <laughs> in a strange way he feels at ease he is armed with his own words and when the time comes they will be enough or they will not for now he's content to let the currents take him toward the final confrontation 
These levels are getting faster. Once more, we return to the drive-in. If he's aware of the absurdity of arming oneself with a few sentences and standing against a power that can pierce time itself, he doesn't hmm? show it. The man has his share of weaknesses, perhaps more, but cowardice ah, is not among them. That's why it looks different. It parked at the different end, right next to the power supply. That's smart. <laughs> oh, you got yourself in the plan, do you? Gotcha. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. Woo. Hello. Gotcha. Man, I love this crossbow so much. All right. Uh, let's turn the power back on. Ah. Heat flare. What? That didn't kill you? Checkpoint, please. Thank you. Oh, hey, that's still there. Or that came back. Reload. Flash grenade. Uh, now, which ones do I need to turn on? Just the right one. Alright. Are you gonna push this middle thing again? Nope. Okay. Good. What's this? Oh, I see. Ah, come on. <laughs> You're bunched up pretty nice there. Gotcha. You think you can sneak up on me like that? You got another thing coming. Ooh. Oh, hey, this gate's open. Don't have to go around. <laughs> oh. Okay, I was about to say. Never getting out of this wake, never! Don't worry, I'll take care of your wife and your life! You know I'm a psycho. Heat flare! Well, at least take care of the pioneer guys. Or, sort of. Again, I sure hope this song isn't uh, copyrighted. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting there in silence. Or I'll put my own song in. It's fine.
do, do. Oh. I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'll send you right back to the beginning. Oh, come on, I hit him. Gotcha. Ugh. Oh. Ow. Ow. Come on. What? You think whatever it is you're gonna do is gonna make a difference? This will end up just like before. Really? Well, I feel like I need to go talk to that lady, though. Okay, there's... get a checkpoint. And I'm just gonna run over to that lady and see if she has anything new to say. Oh, hey. I'm oh, I can hey. This now. <laughs> You'd better. I really don't want that to happen to me again. It's like somebody vomited in my brain. Like a sleazy movie that keeps looping in my head. I'll stop this, I swear. You know the part that's really screwed up? If you mess it up, it'll just keep happening forever, right? I don't think I can deal with that. Don't mm. think about that. I don't think of anything but. Hey, afterwards, when all this is done, look me up. This thing, I can probably help you deal with it. I don't know. It's almost like I'm not even in the same world anymore. Everything's just weird now. Yeah, I know. A lot of that'll pass with time, but being touched by the darkness, it's rough on you. It's a lot to process. Mm. I just don't want you to get completely screwed up by this. Might be a little late for that, to be honest. Yeah, well, there's degrees. At least you're not at a point where you go around picking fights with people over not changing their light bulbs often enough. What? Never mind. All I'm saying is, you're not alone with this. And anyway, you're mm. friends with Alice, so, you know, any friend of hers. Thank you. Oh, that, that, that was a riff against that one lady in the previous game. The Lady of the Light. Oh, radio. Hello, folks, and welcome to the third part of our pre-recorded interview with Serena Valdivia and renowned photographer Alice Wake. So, uh, tell me about the film. It's called Sunrise, and it really wasn't something I ever thought of as an actual film. It was just footage, things I saw and happened to shoot. Mm -hmm. It's not a medium I'm very much at home with. You shouldn't put yourself down. You've got a great eye. Maybe. But experience is another thing. Because you're primarily a still photographer. Yes, exactly. So I'm really used to thinking of the world in terms of snapshots. I frame mm. something and try to pick the right moment. And then reveal that moment to people. Moving images are a different story. I'm still learning a lot about it, to be honest. So this is a new thing for you? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a slow learner. But showing it like this is definitely a new step for me. It's a little weird taking something this intimate and showing it to everybody. Not that the material itself is somehow shocking. It's just that those were private moments. But that's mm. why it works. Because it feels genuine. It's not so much a story as it is a sort of an echo. Showing us how you saw your husband at the time. It's not really about the sunrise itself or Alan watching it. It's about you two together. I suppose. It's funny, looking at it now, especially now that it's been edited like that. It takes on a life of its own, almost. It's a kind of a fantasy. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. No, you're right. I'm glad you talked me into it. Oh, yeah. Alright. Now to go take care of the darkness now. For the last time. Right. Are the enemies this far out, or do they go back to where they were? Come on, I can take you. <laughs> you got nothing, and I got 
everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. They just they just keep on coming, huh? Eat grenade. Ow. Ow. Dang it, did that close? Oh, come on. Uh. Come on. Uh. Flares, help me out. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. Come on. Give me that ammo. Uh, uh, last one. I'm giving the enemies a merry-go-round here. All right. Come on, Tweedledum. I can take you. Got to be the last confrontation or something. Let's reload. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Again, the Champion of Light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. All he needs to do is change the details of the scene, push it past the breaking point, and the rest will snap into place. Alright, it was late at night. At the end of summer. Uh, the noir film poster was showing. The spotlight was on the... thing, and... Alice's film was in the projector. Uh, I think that's the film. So what's the film uh, all about? Hello? Oh, come on, buddy. Why don't you... What? What is this? No! <laughs> burn, baby, burn. You also killed a few people. Is that the reason why we're in Arizona? Because it was on this film? No. Hold on, yeah. It's really me. How? I love you. I love you. Cute you the audience going. <laughs> a woman, a man, two lovers, held apart for far too long, enveloped in the light of a glorious dawn. They both feel it. 
He's home at last. Or is he? Are these actual events, or merely a dream? A memory, or a glimpse of what is to come? One thing is certain. This scene takes place in another time, and another place, far, far away. From Night Springs. That's like saying, this ain't really the sequel. So, I guess get that. It's like saying, was this a sequel or wasn't it? Well, it's not really. <laughs> no, this was like the in between game that uh, they probably just figured people like the game, why not make it? But anyway. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play the num uh, number two. Uh, yeah. I, I, I know, uh, now that I played the first one and replayed the, the, exp a little in between, I'm gonna play the last one, or the next one. The next iteration of, the, of Alan Wake. So, yeah. Have a good night, have a good evening, and have a good morning. Bye.